So the final question then, how do we prepare young people for this very different future and to ensure that we accelerate their access to these um, enterprising skills? And we look at it like this now. You know, we've always had the foundational and technical skills on the left. We will always have English and maths. We will technical skills and STEM particularly are on the rise. There is no doubt, absolutely no doubt. But on the right-hand side now with equal weighting are these enterprise skills and career management skills. So I just want to give you a couple of examples of what young people are doing because one of the things that we're seeing is young people kind of stepping into this. The, it's not just the flipped classroom. It's like young people are taking a lead and guys like Taj Pavari who's um, in his garage was sort of messing about with tech really took the digital skills thing to heart. He said, this is really serious. I want to see other young people. So as a 15-year-old, he created a build-your-own tablet that you have to actually put together and build before you can program it, before you can use it. And he's now, as a 16-year-old, taken this tool all around the top end of Australia and helping Indigenous young people build their own tablet and program it before they use it. STEM and girls is a big topic in Australia. And we worked out through a program that we ran with young females on building apps for good, not just to play with, but apps for social good. We cracked the code on girls and STEM. Georgie 16, uh, with two of her friends, she came to a boot camp for one weekend. And in that time, they had to design, prototype and launch an app. Three days. And Georgie and her friends created for the first time in Australia an app that actually was to help young people manage their diabetes. Now, health departments have spent hundreds of millions of dollars on this. <laughs> and Georgie in one weekend solved a problem for them but also fell in love with STEM. And then finally, I wanted to give you one of your own because Eva McKinley um, represents just this beautiful marriage of a young woman who went to university, um, ended up in hospitality, again, which is not what she did a university degree for, but has been, spent a lot of her time working in bars. And in that time, working in a bar, saw a problem she wanted to solve, which was tens of thousands of plastic straws just being cast away and she decided to set up a program called the last straw where bars do away with straws because mostly they're just decorative you don't really need a straw um, she's won many awards she's an amazing young tasmanian and she represents this beautiful blend of what i see in tens of thousands of students and young people across australia at the moment and in fact globally which is this blend of learning but also purpose. Some people want to do things that actually have a purpose. And some even want to do things that have a purpose that's bigger than themselves. And we're seeing more of that. We've got 200,000 young Australians on our platform around social change. There's never been a bigger group than that.